Textron Aviation Defense and partner Leonardo believe their offering of the M346 Master and Integrated Training System ITS, will provide a proven, low-risk solution. When the United States Forces USN, prepared to replace its aging fleet of Boeing T-45 Goshawk trainer jets. Italy's Leonardo will supply the aircraft, which will be assembled at an undisclosed location in the United States. Wichita-based Textron Aviation is leading the bid for the Navy's undergraduate jet training system, UJTS, requirements as prime contractor. Leveraging its deep training relationship with the USN, said Tom Webster, the Defense Unit's Vice President of Sales. Webster points out that generations of naval aviators have trained using products from Beechcraft, a Textron Aviation brand dash. Including the T-34 Mentor, T-6 Texan, and T-44 Pegasus, with the King Air 260 based T-54A soon to enter service. The only thing we haven't done is the jet training part, he said. However, following an initial agreement last year, Textron Aviation is thrilled to be able to offer the M346 to navies, he said, noting that it is not only a proven platform. but also a proven trainer for students who will use the Lockheed Martin, F-35, Eurofighter, Typhoon, and Boeing, F-15 thanks to its use by Israel, Poland, and Singapore. We know that this device can provide the trained pilots the Navy needs, he added. This is a less dramatic solution and has proven capabilities, with real data to support the claims we make. He compared the maturity of the M346 to the developmental nature of its competitors for the UJTS contest, the Boeing D7A Red Hawk and the Lockheed slash Korea Aerospace Industries T50. Leonardo's proven its, which combines hands-on, virtual and constructive training, provides other benefits, he said. Although the jet originates from Italy, Webster believes that U.S. regulations regarding domestic content can be easily overcome. Since the jet will be assembled in the United States, the biggest piece of American content still to be worked on is the Honeywell F-124 engine. However, since assembly was moved from Taiwan to Phoenix, that particular concern has been addressed, he said. For us, it's far from ready, it's not a problem yet. We're not worried about this, we're already at the Made in America stage and will do final assembly in the United States. Details regarding final assembly construction will be worked out in the coming months. But technicians from Textron Aviation recently visited Leonardo's M346 factory in Benagono Superior to gain a thorough understanding of the production line, added Webster. That mature, running and smooth assembly line means that if the Navy needs an accelerated delivery schedule, Leonardo could produce the M346 from Benagono today while the United States factory is still under construction. I'm sure that for both of our competitors, it will be a challenge in itself," he said. In the requests for information RFI, released so far by the Navy, there has been no indication that the UJTS platform will be needed to carry out carrier landings, a role currently performed with the Goshawk. On that basis, the Textron Aviation slash Leonardo team has not performed any technical analysis on whether the M346 could be adapted for that role. Because they haven't asked us, we don't do a lot of advanced engineering to deal with hypothetical things, Webster said. One of the things that the RFI does is point us down a certain path as far as engineering is concerned. Part of what has pointed us in the direction of the M346 
to have an aircraft capable of landing on a carrier, but not necessarily one that is designed to go to a carrier," added Steve Helmer, flight test and demonstration pilot for Textron Aviation Defense. If the Navy chooses a platform capable of carrying a carrier, it will require a daunting engineering effort to assess the aircraft and what changes we need to make," he said. Through UJTS, the Navy intends to acquire 149 new aircraft, including an initial phase of four engineering and manufacturing development examples. The first delivery is planned for USN fiscal year 2026, according to the Navy's latest budget plan.